is Friday, October 6th. I am by myself today and I didn't know that until just a few minutes ago. <laughs> But um, I figured I would take you along with me. I can't really vlog when I have my pair here. So um, when they do have our subbing, sometimes I go ahead and um, pick up the camera and bring you guys along. So today is Friday and um, we're going to do game day. Most of them have done enough of their I ready minutes. I was checking it just now. Um, as long as they're kind of in the 30 to 45 minute range. Um, as far as I understand, that's okay. So, um, I have fifth grade first. Let's see. So, fifth grade looks okay as far as minutes. So, I'm going to give them the choice. And what I think I'm going to do is probably have them vote. But I'm probably going to do, like, vote on a sticky note. Because they just get, they get rowdy sometimes. Like when I say, you know, like, we're going to play this game. Oh, I wanted to play this game. So I'm going to give them a choice to vote, you know, and then um, we'll see what game we're going to play. So it's going to be either the splash game division or the, um, the decimal game. And so I showed these in previous videos, but in case you haven't seen previous videos, I'll show you guys what those are. So this is the decimal war game. So we'll pass out those cards and then whoever has the highest decimal takes all of the cards. And I did also print this to kind of help them because I'm not sure, you know, like where they are as far as understanding decimals. So this is one option. And then the other option is this splash game division. We've done the multiplication and it just seemed like it was too easy for them and they obviously they want it to be easy but at the same time you know we need to be learning and you know so anywho what I'm gonna do if they end up voting on this one unanimously or whatever if this one wins the vote then I will probably draw names for who can be in charge of the answer sheet and um, that person will hold the bin and take it around and they're supposed to just reach their hand in not looking and pick a card out and for for some of the math ones there's two levels and so sometimes I take one level out depending on like which grade level is doing this but I think I'm going to leave both levels in because this is the first time we're doing the division one so basically they pick a card and then they're supposed to um, answer the question. If they get it correct, then they keep it. Whoever has 10 of these first wins. And if you pull a splash card, you have to put all of your cards back in. So um, they seem to like this one. But again, we have not done division yet. So I don't know what they'll choose between decimals and division. So we'll see how that goes. To celebrate Friday, I got Starbucks. Um, the pumpkin what is it pumpkin chai tea I think it's got the pumpkin cold foam and this time it doesn't have the cinnamon on top if you see my other video I was surprised it has cinnamon on top last time and it doesn't so I've got um, I've got the question of the day and the word problem of the day so they come in and do that first and then we'll get started on voting on which game and so I'm probably just going to have them, oh gosh, I just dropped it. Probably gonna have them just vote on a sticky note um, and then just see which one wins. After fifth grade is kindergarten and I usually have um, another kiddo that joins us during that group. So there is two of them now. I don't know if she'll be here though. She was not here yesterday. And I usually try to keep Fridays as like a math day, but um, Kindergarten does not do their I ready minutes with me, so I am gonna go ahead and just do um, a reading game today. So I'm gonna do the CVS words, CVS, <laughs> the CBC words. Oh my goodness gracious! So same concept. They just pull out a card, read the name, read the word, and. Um, whoever gets to 10 first because I've done the pop <clears throat> last week I did the pop for sight words which is similar to this it's just the card says pop instead of splash 
Um, so I figured I'll mix it up and do CVC words today. Um, so that's the plan for fifth grade and kindergarten. Okay, fifth grade just left. So we ended up voting on the game they wanted to play. There was four of them, and of course it was a tie. So then I picked a number from one to 20 <laughs> in my head, and whoever was closest to that number got to pick the game. So <laughs> we played the Division Splash, and um, we were able to play two whole rounds, and then like we almost finished a third round. And then when they won, I let them choose from my Oop, my Halloween treasure box. And um, then at the end, whoever didn't. My timer went off to go get kindergarten and then my phone fell off of my water thing. Anyways, um, whoever didn't get to, whoever didn't win, um, still got to pick something out of the Halloween treasure box or candy. One girl picked candy instead of the treasure box. So anyways, gotta go get kindergarten and my other kiddo that comes in, we're gonna play that CVC splash game. I also did finally get the Kindergarten Haggerty book, so I um, I got it yesterday, so I started it yesterday, so I'm going to do that first, then we'll do the CVC game. All right, rhyming words have the same middle and final sounds. I'm going to say two rhyming words and say the words back to me, okay? <laughs> Hide, ride. Hide, ride. Tall, wall. Tall. Okay, we will listen for the first sound we hear in words. The first sound comes at the beginning of the word. I will say a word. You're going to say the word back to me and tell me the first sound you hear. Are you ready? Ready. First sound you hear in the word seat. 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 Gum. 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 Thank you. All right. Dang. I'm gonna say two small words. You're gonna say the words back to me and blend them together to make one big word. You ready? Cup. Cake. Cupcake. Pancake. Pancake. So now we're gonna listen for the last sound we hear in the words, okay? Yep. So the last sound okay. comes at the end of the word. I'm gonna say a word. You're gonna say the word back to me. We're gonna punch the last sound we hear up in the air, okay? Okay. Okay, my word is yes. Yes. Yeah. Last sound. S Ready? Rat. Rat. What's the last sound? Uh. T -t 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 -t. Give. Give. Mm. Buzz. Buzz. Last sound. Good job. Ah. What'd you get? Bib. 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 Den. <laughs> Mom. I just took my kindergartner back to class. It seemed like he was here for forever. It's just, when it's just one kiddo, um, the 30 minutes feels like it's two hours um but we did Haggerty we did the CVC splash game he wanted to do that subtraction puzzle game thing you'll need to continue on your personal device I have no idea what just happened I swear this watch is like possessed anyways he wanted to do that subtraction puzzle thing and then even after all of that he still had like five minutes and I told him he could get on Starfall because he loves Starfall. Um, so he did that for the last five minutes. So I'm about to get my next group of kids, fourth grade. I'm probably gonna do either the, I'll probably do the same kind of thing where they can vote between, somebody keeps running. If he does it again, I'm gonna have to go out there. Anyways, um, probably going to let them vote. Like I let the fifth graders vote. So we're either going to do and it's, both, it's gonna be multiplication either way. So multiplication war with the cards, with the cards, which I need to find the cards, or the multiplication splash game. So we'll see what they vote for. And there's, is there an odd number or an even number of kids? If they're all here, there's an odd number of kids. So we'll see. I was gonna 
change my flag out and it broke. I guess it got rusted and so I don't think I have super glue here, but I'm gonna maybe take it home and see if I can fix it. I just bought this. It's only been out there for probably less than a month. I thought at first that it just needed to screw back in, but I think it's def definitely broken. So I'm sad. I was going to put my Halloween flag out there, which was really cute. <laughs> oh, well, hopefully I can fix it with super glue. Oh my goodness. Okay. Fourth grade just left. Um, all five kiddos were here, but one had a StoryWorks assignment that they had to do, so only four of them were able to play the game. So um, I did the same thing where I drew names to see who was going to hold the bin and the um, answer sheet. And then they played, I think, two rounds. I think I got cut off earlier when I was talking. Um, one of my fourth graders had come back. He had forgotten something. Anyways, my third graders just left. That's my biggest group. There are seven, excuse me, there's seven kids and it's a lot. <laughs> um, so they voted between either this game or the multiplication splash game, which I kind of thought they were going to vote for this one because it's addition. And the way I explained it was that I was going to pick three cards and they were going to add those three numbers up. And then if you get it correct, then you get a tally mark and then we'll see at the end who has the most tally marks. Well, they were not interested in that. They all seven voted for the multiplication splash game, even though it is a little bit hard for them because they are third grade and um, they are pretty much just learning multiplication. So um, we did have like eight cards in the discard pile for incorrect and I said that was fine we're still learning it's not a big deal they had their whiteboards some of them were drawing arrays some of them were adding you know multiple times to try to get the answer um, so they were using some different strategies and um, nobody was able to get to 10 the most anybody had was three and so those two kiddos picked out of my, every single time my timer goes off, it makes my phone literally jump off of my water. Anyways, those two kiddos picked out of the treasure box, the Halloween treasure box, and then the rest of them just wanted candy. And so I gave candy corn because they were pretty loud. Um, and so if they come in and they do like what they need to do and they listen and they follow directions, that group really likes to work for the candy bin and I'm fine with that. Um, but I did explain to them that they did not earn the candy bin today, but I will give them candy corn. I explained that it was a little bit loud. I know they were excited about playing the game, but, um, it's hard to kind of corral them especially like I said there's seven of them and I'm by myself and that's normally not a lot of kids but um it just it just is for this group um I don't know what it is about third grade but they just seem to be the most rowdy so anywho let's see I have first grade next and like I said that timer has already gone off so I'm probably going to just go ahead and do the addition splash game with them because they they all really liked that and the one kiddo comes in every single day asking if we're going to play it. So I'm probably just not even going to do any kind of voting or anything like that. They probably wouldn't really understand that anyway and I don't have the only other thing I could think of that we could do is maybe do adding with the cards but they do like the splash game so I'm probably going to do that with them so we'll do the whiteboards and no one kiddo is going to be absent because they were they told me that they were out the rest of this week so there's either going to be three or four so I'll set them here at my table we'll grab whiteboards and we'll play the addition splash game and then it will be Finally time for me to take a break and have lunch. I need to sit here and like be quiet for a minute because it is, third grade is a whirlwind. <laughs> one, two, three, four, uh, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh! <laughs> I got it. I hope you get. I hope you get four. I hope you get six. One, two, three, four. Five. 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 So one, one two, two, three, four. Five. Yes. <laughs> no. All right, so look, you only drew six circles here. And this is a number eight. You drew one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. No, You're not cheating. nine. Oh, this oh, is a number eight. He's cheating. He's not cheating. I'm one, showing two, him how three, to do it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the answer was ten. But since you got it wrong, I'm going to just put it in this thing. It's okay, though, okay? okay? So after lunch, and I think I'm going to... Um, play the splash game with them. So there's two levels of this one and for the first graders I just did the level one. For the second graders I'll do level one and level two just mixed in. Um, I don't really have another option necessarily for them to vote on something and I don't think that they're one to complain so I think I'll probably just go ahead and choose that. Um, the first graders, I had said I was going to do this with them because they had been asking me about it and then they came in, they wanted to play this again because we played this last week. So they started talking about the bus game. So we played this and then we actually had enough time to play this after. So we did both. It was just two kiddos. So I played with them. So yeah, I'm going to heat up my lunch, sit here, try to relax and cool off a little bit, see how I feel. And, um, I'll check in probably, I don't know, maybe at the end of the day. I'm going to try to show this without any names, even though I think most of them are only first names anyway. But I found this really cute thing on TPT that you can make into a poster for free, um, for principal, National Principals Month. So, <clears throat> I wish I could show you the whole thing, but it's really cute and it's a poster and I'm having all of them write their name on it. And then I'm going to have the library lady laminate it for us and then we're going to take it to him. So we did not get to play <laughs> the game as planned with second grade because two of them came in with unfinished work. And so I was doing that with them simultaneously and it was two different things. One was like a test and then another thing was just a... Uh, um, like science activity or something that they didn't finish. So I was doing that at my table and then two of them did I ready minutes because for some reason second grade was low on their minutes. I, I don't know. Anywho, and then I had fourth grade two were absent. No, one was absent and it was just because they were having a class party. So, um, and then one brought some science work to finish and then the other two had not finished their minutes. So, they did their I ready minutes and then I did the science thing with the other kiddo which we didn't finish it it was like three pages we only finished like a page and a half so anywho I'm about to get third grade now I need to check their minutes because I didn't check minutes for third grade a.m. group and good afternoon we're on our way home and I don't remember the last time I checked in, so I had my third grade group. We did um, the game with a couple of them, and a couple of them needed to do their minutes. And then fifth grade came, and they were all done with their I ready minutes. So the three of them got to play the game, and we did the division splash game, and that went pretty well. I think we finished two rounds, and um, since there was only three of
of them. I let I let all three of them pick out of the Halloween bin because um, there was two winners and one one person didn't win. You know, because we only played two rounds, so I let them all pick something, and then that was it. So I started decorating my door for I don't remember what it's called, Red Cross or something. I don't remember what it's called, but there's some kind of awareness week, I think next week, maybe the week after. And it's like um, anti-drug or anti-bullying. And there's another door decorating contest. So I started decorating my door. I got a pack on TPT that says say boo to bullying. So I was hanging the black paper on the door and then getting the letters hung up, which it's so hot in our hallways that probably by the time I get back on Monday, stuff's probably gonna be falling off. So I'll just reassess that as needed, but I didn't finish it. Monday's a teacher work day because it is the end of the first quarter. So I have 40 progress reports to do. So I'll be working on that on Monday and probably finishing up the door. I don't usually work all day on a teacher work day. Um, but anyways, I'll probably just end this video here. Thank you guys for watching and have a good weekend.